Welcome back, everybody. 12:23 on your Wednesday afternoon. And if I could describe three words to describe the afternoon, well, that sentence was a little messed up. If I could pick three words to describe this afternoon, it would be hot, sunny, and breezy. We're sitting at 88 in McAllen right now, but there's some relief on the way, and it's in the form of a cold front and really cold air behind this front. It's 47 in Abilene, 48 in Midland, 49 degrees in Amarillo. Now, as this front starts to make the, its way through, you know the drill, those showers start to spark up. So 60% chance of rain today, which means 60% of the valley will probably see some scattered storms, mainly tonight. Then I'm expecting a couple of showers tomorrow morning as we still have instability. We still have a lot of infection in the area, and then we dry out on Friday. Now, with those storms comes a marginal risk for severe weather, mostly for the southwest portion of Texas. Now, with that, we are in the marginal risk from Mission on into Star County. Now, out of the five categories, though, we are in the smallest risk. So we're not expecting any flooding. We're not expecting tornadoes. Our biggest concern would be damaging winds and it would be hail, but we're talking quarter size hail at most. So let's break this down a little bit for you. By 6 p.m., those storms are starting to move in. By 7 p.m., you're really starting to see them develop in the mountains of Mexico and start to make their way through by 8 p.m. You've seen a couple of bullseyes on your screen. So a couple of areas where there's just a lot of hail in that reflectivity from the radar, a lot of damaging winds. But as they make their way into the valley, those storms really start to break up. And that's a good thing for us. So those storms really going to start to break up. I think most places will hear a rumble of thunder, maybe see a stroke of lightning or two. But as far as anything severe, I don't think we're going to have anything too severe, maybe in Star County, maybe in the western part of Hidalgo County, but those storms keep going through the valley. They start to break up even more. So Cameron and Willacy counties, you're not going to see any severe weather. I don't think you will. I think you may see a thunderstorm, but all everything is going to be quick moving. That's typically the case with a cold front. Isolated showers by 4 a.m. on Thursday. By 8 a.m., we're still seeing the possibility of isolated showers. Those clouds start to move in again, and then we're going to have gradual clearing throughout all of Thursday, and that's what's going to keep us in the mid-70s. So our high temperatures tomorrow only in the mid-70s because of that gradual clearing. So let's break it down even more. Scattered storms tonight from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m., then severe storms are possible in the upper valley, and then isolated showers from 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, with those showers, we're also going to have a huge drop of temperature, 14-degree drop, high of 90 today, only a high of 76 tomorrow. But your temperatures right now all sitting in the upper 80s, except for at the coast, where it's 83 in Port Isabel. So today, high of around 90, partly cloudy, warm, a breezy day. Winds are going to be out of the southeast at around 15 miles per hour. And then tonight, we cool down to around 67. Now, scattered storms early on and then isolated showers later on into tomorrow morning. So your seven-day forecast showing that huge drop in temperature tomorrow. And then we start to heat up a little bit before another cold front starts to come through, dropping our temperatures again before we heat up once more. We're going to continue tracking that front for you, and that's your first morning five forecast. We'll be back after this.